Reynolds can do. They were effective on the last one. Reynolds puts it down, runs out to the right, followed by Riccardi. Oh, brother. Who does that remind you of? Little Blake Sims right there? Yeah, absolutely. He's a weapon, he's an athlete, and as they expand this off. around the end down the sidelines the change took place on downs yes after a timeout call here's Reynolds back to throw deep down the middle oh no Jameer Tillman Jameer Tillman is at the top of the screen in tight Here's Reynolds rolling to his right, firing it into the end zone, caught by Jameer Tillman. And it also Third down, quick snap. Touchdown. pretty nasty down there but you just have to get an inch past the line and the linesman to the far side called it not by a lot but you see him running in from the top of the screen I'm puts certainly his hands up not disputing the call but I often wonder how do you know what I mean no it's got to be a guess it's yeah. just a feeling for further review the ruling on the field stands touchdown Second down. What kind of quarterback draw is this going to be? <laughs> yep. There you are. Well, he got 16 of the 18 back. <laughs> Joe Wasn't Drummond. too surprising, was it? What were they doing defensively? Was something to confuse you guys, or just? You know, no. We they did what we expected them to do, uh, but we just we were shooting ourselves in the foot. And I mean, they were definitely taking advantage of that. They were they were very high pursuit on on defense, rallying to the ball, getting a lot of penetration, uh, a few stunts here and there. Um, but but nonetheless, we just did a a poor job on offense executing, and we knew what we needed to do. We just had to go out and do it. And once we stopped shooting ourselves in the foot, we were able to you know be successful on, on the offensive side of the ball. Do you think the long pass to Jameer really kind of got you guys going? It did. You know, that was something that we had to have. We had to get some points at the end of the half. Um, and so, you know, I told him how I wanted. I told him where I was going to throw the ball, and he was just running. And that, that's just something that we've been working on in practice, and it connected for us. You know, what does it mean to you not just to continue the streak and be already but to be able to give Coach Ned his 56 weight to go on That's pretty sweet. I mean, it, it doesn't get much better. Um, it's kind of like, you know, two amazing things on one day: the streak, uh, continuing the streak, and then also giving him his uh, the all-time winning as coach in Navy history. So, I mean. I think it's much better than that for us. Uh, you know, we wanted to send him out like that, and what a better way to give him that 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 record than to beat Army. Keenan, is playing in this game harder than playing in any other game? No, it's still football. Um, the keys to win are all the same, and you know, when you start letting get the external pressures get to you, that's when you 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 don't communicate well, you you don't do your assignments, and I, I think that's what kind of happened to us. We we came out a little two up. Um, didn't relax, didn't play our game until midway through the second quarter. So, you know, we hats out, hats out to the defense because they really helped us up, held us up throughout the first half. They didn't allow offensive touchdown, and that, that's huge. That really helped us out. Hey, guys. Keenan, speaking of things that you weren't thinking about, but I was another touchdown, put you a little bit closer to that ball time and that's not record. You didn't know what it is? Oh, I'm, I'm aware of it, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. It's strictly an, an off the field deal. You know, off the field, I'm a, I know what I need to get. But on the field, in practice, on practice, you know, my main goal is just executing. Because at the end of the day, we execute, good things are going to happen. And, and, you know, one thing Coach says all the time is stats for losers. I mean, I can rush for how many how many ever yards and six, seven touchdowns. But if we're not winning, then it's it's pretty pointless. So I'd, I'd take a, a statless game with a victory than a stat padding game without a victory any day. Touched on number 62. Was that ball? Were you in? They touched it.
last night. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Keenan, you heard Coach saying that usually at the end of the game, you guys kill the clock, yeah. drive it in, you're in field goal territory, it looks like you're going for maybe a touchdown yeah. seal. What happened there? Um, you know, I just, uh, I'm, I'm going to take the blame for that one because, you know, we, we, we don't make those type of mistakes, me and Tanner, and, you know, those, that's a crucial moment. And, you know, he, do, he did what he always did. You know, I, I probably pulled out a little early trying to get to the edge. So I, I just, I told him, hey, don't worry about it, man. Um, I'll, I'll hang in there a little bit longer next time we run the play. And we just moved on because we, we just trusted our defense that they would come up with a stop and knew that when we get the ball back, all we had to do was get a first down and we'd be able to kill the clock for good. And Coach talked about um, the country being in good hands with both, both teams. Um, and I was wondering, you said earlier that it's football, it's football. But when you play um, Navy, and you realize that the guys, of course, are also sort of academy members, and maybe even when you play Air Force, whatever. Is it a different feel as when you're playing like a non service academy, just knowing like what the commitment you guys have afterwards? I think so, because not only just for the commitment, because we, we all knew and know uh, what, what that entails for all the service academies. But I think it, it just kind of like playing a mirror image almost because those guys, they know that everybody knows they're undersized, that they, most of the guys that are there weren't very recruited. They weren't five-star athletes, but they're going to fight and they're going to play hard. And so every time we play a service academy, it's really almost like we're playing ourselves. And, and that mentality that we have as a team, the toughness, the, the play to the whistle, the never quit, we see that when we, when we go out and we play the Air Forces and the Armies. Any other questions for the offensive guys? How happy are you guys that Coach uh, isn't on the beach somewhere in Hawaii right now? He said that he could easily be there chilling right now. He's, now he's got the win uh, record for you guys and then, then Navy. What would that mean for you guys to keep playing for no, I'm Ecstatic. I mean, like I said earlier, it doesn't get much better than this. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.